One of the largest and most significant collections of Chinese contemporary art outside of China can be found in Australia. Since 2009, billionaire Judith Nielsen's White Rabbit Gallery in Sydney has showcased the works of some 700 emerging and established talent across a spectrum of media to the public for free. Greg Navarro has the story. And, and that's, that's a wonderful piece. Spend some time with Judith Nielsen inside one of her Sydney properties. I thought it would be good if you saw a little bit of this, just to know that there's a lot that goes in. And it's easy to see what motivates her. I've been interested in art my whole life, and I've been a collector my whole life. That lifelong passion fills the walls and spaces across four floors of an old warehouse, now home to the White Rabbit Gallery. Known around the world for its unique ability to showcase contemporary Chinese art, both in its approach and scale. I collect contemporary, which is today, and contemporary art is global art because it's all affected by everything that's going on in the world, be it politics, um, natural disasters, materials, um, technology. We all share it. Sharing is an important component of this gallery, which has been free to the public since it opened. It's made of um, dog chews, leather. And this, the artist has done several quite major pieces with dog chews. The Zimbabwe-born philanthropist began collecting contemporary Chinese art after several trips to China in the 1990s, where she was taken by the sheer scale of artists. And I thought it would be a wonderful thing if I could get a... Um, a space and some sort of a collection document in Sydney where I could show the wonderful talent of China but also allow the public to come and um, visit, view and share what was happening. Nielsen and her billionaire ex-husband opened White Rabbit in 2009. In the early days of the White Rabbit Gallery, Nielsen says finding artists was challenging because Many weren't interested in dealing with an unknown woman running an unknown art gallery. The key, she says, was finding the right artists. Even the most humble artists at that time knew that if they just sold their work, um, their careers would possibly stop because um, it might get hung in somebody's sitting room or holiday art or whatever. And um, so they wouldn't sell their work unless it was going to um, a museum or, or gallery. Today, Nielsen has amassed the works of about 700 artists. Nielsen has so many pieces of art, individual pieces, beyond what's in the gallery, that she had to create this specially designed, one-of-a-kind building. It has the footprint of a football field, 11,000 square meters. This is just one room where it houses everything from individual paintings, small drawings, to massive sculptures. I cannot harbour something. If I enjoy it, <laughs> I'll make jolly sure that I have a good go at making you enjoy it. The works are as varied as the mediums used to create them, from life-size sculptures to a room worth a second look, because everything in here is embroidered. So many people have come there and shed a tear um, because they grew up like that with their grannies. All of this is from Nielsen's own collection, currently about 4,500 individual pieces. Whatever your opinion is correct. So if you walk in and you think this is a load of commercial rubbish, correct. If you think, ah, oh, that's interesting, I wonder how they do it, I'd like to maybe copy something, that's good. Things here are pretty varied. Nielsen says realizing her passion comes with great responsibility. If I don't do it, nobody else will do it. It's fair to say that hundreds of artists and countless art lovers are glad she does. Greg Navarro, CGTN, Sydney.